Welcome back to Weekend Recharge, and this is a number we don't like seeing. It's child hot car deaths so far this year. Right now, confirmed 10, and there's discussion that there could be perhaps another child that just died in the last 24 hours. That's still not confirmed yet, but here's the thing. The, the, the temperature, Sam, the lowest was 70 outside, and the hot, highest was 92, but that, that 70, people don't understand what cars do. Right, and they, they act like a greenhouse, mm -hmm. basically. It doesn't allow the outside air to get into the inside air, so they, they act just like a mobile greenhouse, and uh, that heat definitely builds up. So 92 degrees in St. Louis after 10 minutes, it's going to be, feel like 111 inside that car. And after 30 minutes, it'll be 126 degrees inside that car. So you don't want to leave anything precious inside. In fact, year after year, we see dozens of helpless children die in hot cars. And as we just mentioned, this year, 10 children have died far too many. Yeah, so far in uh, 2023, uh, we're seeing a push to finally mm -hmm. kind of change things. We want to bring in uh, just some uh, an expert uh, from Bumper to Bumper TV, Greg Morrison. Thanks for joining us. And glad to be here. Let's talk about this in terms of new regulations. The the government is actually acting on this, and they're going to uh, perhaps force or make car makers make adjustments on their vehicles so people can have a way to know that a child is in their back seat. Basically, it's called a rear seat alert, rear occupant alert. It has been around since about 2020. Uh, Hyundai and Kia were among the first to do it, and now it's going to be mandated by 2025 model year. About time. Uh, most manufacturers are offering this technology now, and it's basically a sensor in the seat that picks up the weight of a child or a pet. We, can, we tend to forget about our pets mm -hmm. who are also stuck back there. Uh, and they're wearing fur coats. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, and, and they can't take them off either. Uh, that's part of the technology that's there that really alerts people uh, that, hey, there's someone back there, don't forget. Uh, there's now technology out there that not only alerts you that you, there's a person or something back there, but if you walk away from the car, your phone will get a text message. One of the manufacturers, Toyota, was at their headquarters last year, and they showed off some technology they're working on that will not only alert your phone, it'll flash the lights, It'll honk the horn, and if there's no response to that or a text message, it calls the police. That is brilliant. That is brilliant because that will get the necessary reaction to save a child's life. I mean, so many times, you know, we get distracted and it's those day to day activities. And even sometimes, I don't have any young children right now, but I see the little light come on that says, check your back seat. Mm -hmm. I think we get used to these these lights and these alarms. So I love the idea of a text on your phone as you walk away that says, oops, go back there and check the back seat. Well, it's also some common sense can apply here. You pull the car up, it's hot, you're going to run in to get a burger or a soft drink. Turn around, see what's back there. Just remind yourself. Uh, sometimes kids get quiet back there or the pets get quiet back there. And babies fall asleep in Babies the fall asleep. Yeah. You know, adults fall asleep. <laughs> and one of the other areas that no one's really discussing is when we're carrying elderly passengers ah, in the back yes. seat. You know, they're going to fall asleep, especially on a hot day. And, and they're so more susceptible to, yeah. to being heat. And, and most, heat most of these tragedies are tragedies where perhaps there's a change in routine, a different mm -hmm. parent or mm -hmm. caregiver is taking a child they're not used to doing it. And this is going to be for new cars coming out in 2025. Is there anything people can do with an, a, an, an older model car, that, or a model that, uh, car that doesn't have that technology right. to perhaps add some more safety? There are seat covers you can buy, aftermarket seat covers, that are cooling seat covers now that will fit both front and rear seats. And we tend to forget about the rear seat because primarily it's what's the, what does the driver want to make them happy. But a rear seat with a cooling element that will cool the seat down. You cool that seat down, you cool the core down. And as we know, when the core is comfortable, the rest of you is comfortable. Uh, the other thing I recommend to people is think about the color of your interior. Most, many cars have dark interiors. Look at something with a lighter interior that doesn't retain as much heat. And don't be afraid to crack a window once in a while. And the cheapest solution, don't laugh at this, these portable electric fans that you can plug into a USB or a 12-volt outlet, they should just run back there to turn air. As the air is moving, people are not in much, as much danger. Now we need that air movement, you know, yes. and preferably air exchange from the outside in to keep yeah. things cool. Great information. Thank you, Greg. It's Greg Morrison with the Bumper Bumper TV. Thank you as always. Glad to be here.